Hi, plant loving friends, welcome. Today I'm talking to you about ficus. Ficus is a genus of plants that are really popular right now because they make excellent house plants. They are trees that do really well in the home and in that group you can find anything that you call a rubber tree as well as a fiddly fig and a whole host of other really beautiful house plants. Before I get to talking to you about how to care for them, I thought I'd show you a few of the ones that we have in the greenhouse right now up close. So this is a rubber tree with really beautiful variegated foliage. Also, this is a similar variegated rubber tree. This one has much more red in the new growth. This one's called Ruby. This one is a really beautiful variegated Ali that Jared loves. It's one of his favorite plants. And the new growth is bright orange and then it fades to this beautiful variegated chartreuse. It's really a striking plant as it gets larger. What's nice about this group of plants is that they give you some height in the home and they are, if you give them the right care, very easy to take care of. We also have, this is our burgundy rubber tree here. And of course, everyone's favorite house plant to hate, the fiddle leaf fig. But I'm gonna fix that because I'm gonna help you know exactly how to take care of them. So all of these plants require very similar care. There are nuances between varieties, as well as, of course, different homes have different temperatures and air qualities. And so watering is going to be a little bit different for your every plant. So I'm not giving you a watering schedule, but when you are taking care of these plants, you are going to want to water them well and then water them again before they've completely dried out. When the top is dry, but the bottom half is still wet, that's a great time to water. We always recommend that you choose a pot with a hole in the bottom so that any excess moisture when you water can drain out the bottom. And then if there's still water sitting in the dish under your pot after about an hour, go get rid of that water. You don't wanna have standing water on your plant. It can cause root rot. And as far as light, ficus like bright, but indirect light. And ficus need to be in front of a window, and a window that gets bright sun throughout the day, but no hot sun. They really do not do well in corners. Oftentimes when people tell me that they are having a hard time with their ficus, they have put it next to their fireplace or in the corner because it's the right height for that location and it looks really good in their room and they've seen something similar to that in a magazine or online. But ficus really need to be very close to a bright window. If you have them further than three feet away from a bright window, they will start dropping leaves. You also want to make sure that you're keeping them away from drafts. So none of these plants like to have air blowing on them regularly. So keep an eye out for registers or cold drafts from drafty windows and especially those heat vents in the winter. Those ones are really killers because it's hot so it dries out their leaves and then they'll start dropping leaves. Ficus are really easy to take care of once you give them the right care, which is that bright window and not letting them totally dry out and avoid drafts. We choose to move ours every summer out of our house to the outsides because they really do so well outside during the summer. And then in the fall, we move them back in the house. And whenever they get moved, they will do a leaf dump. Ficus do not like change. So we move our plant outside in the spring and they'll drop some leaves. And then they do wonderful outside all summer and they thrive and they have noticeable growth and they're so happy. And then it gets too cold because we're in Ohio and we bring it back in and it does another leaf drop. Don't worry if that happens to your plant. It'll figure itself out in about a week, but if it continues to drop leaves after it has adjusted to its new location, you may need to check to make sure that it's getting enough light and it's not getting any drafts. There you have it, ficus, a really easy and beautiful house plant. I always look forward to making these videos for you. Leave a comment, let me know what other videos you'd like to see, and I'll see you next time.